This is lesson eight of our module on hypothesis testing. And in this module, we will look at uh, strategies for calculating a test statistic. Uh, in other words, discovering the infamous E divided by SE, where E is the effect size and SE is the standard error. This is brought to you by Dr. Dog. We will consider a problem here in just a moment. A null hypothesis is the claim that mu is equal to seven. Based upon perhaps the wording of the problem, we have determined that the alternate hypothesis is mu less than seven. Now let's consider the curve immediately to the right. On this curve, I've identified mu equals seven. So we're assuming that this is normally distributed. Now what we will assume in this is, is that we're looking at an X bar distribution and the X bar distribution is always normally distributed around mu. We went out and took a sample to test their claim and we came up with an X bar equal to 6.5. In other words, the mean of our sample is 6.5 and they claim that the mean is 7. Now notice the distance between 6.5 and 7. The difference between 6.5 and 7 is called the effect size. The effect size is the difference between what we actually found, which was X bar, and what it was speculated that we would find, which was mu. X bar turns out to be uh, 6.5. So E is equal to X bar minus mu. E is equal to 6.5 minus 7. And the effect size is negative 0.5. Now that's good to know that the effect size is negative 0.5. Our, our actual sample value was at one half a unit below our anticipated mean. Now that effect size is still just a raw value. We have not converted it to a z-score yet. E has no real meaning unless converted to a z-score. To do this, one must divide by the standard error, or SE. Recall that the standard error is the standard deviation for the particular problem of interest. Now, if this problem is an X bar distribution, then somewhere out there when we took that sample and found 6.5, we have an S and we have an N. Let's suppose that our S was 2 and that our N was 50, that we sampled 50 different uh, data points. Now our z-test statistic is equal to E over SE. This converts that E to a z-type score. If you divide that effect size, which is raw data, by how much a standard deviation is, then it should give us a z-score. And in this case, we have a z-test statistic because we took an x, we took a sample, found the, the mean of that sample, subtracted that mean from the uh, as population speculated mean, 6.5 minus 7, and now we're going to divide it by the standard error. Well, in the problem that I suggested to you, I said let's let the standard deviation be 2, and let's do 50 in the sample. So z-test is equal to E over SE. As we calculated a minute ago, our effect size is negative 0.5, so we can plug that in. In this equation, our standard error is for the X bar distribution, which is always S divided by the square root of N. So our S was 2 divided by the square root of 50, since we had 50 data points. Our Z test calculates to be negative 0.5 divided by 0.283. So our Z test statistic turned out to be negative 1.77. What that means is very clearly explained and hopefully in the next slide. Voila. The z-test statistic, our effect size, is negative 1.77 standard errors below the mean. Remember, standard error and standard deviation are the same thing. Standard error is the standard deviation in this case for the, for the x-bar distribution, which is s over uh, square root of n. So if that effect size, if that, that claim is true that mu is 7, based on our sample, our sample found, found that its effect size was 1.77 standard deviations below the mean. Hope you're beginning to catch on. Better keep studying. Work in groups. Study.